If you didn't know, the author of Chainsaw Man, Tatsuki Fujimoto, is really weird. This man is just extremely goofy and lax when it comes to interviews. He has life stories and the way he tells them. He's like that one friend in the group that will always have an interesting and wild story to say. And I kind of just wanted to make a video to go over some of the things that Tatsuki Fujimoto does or did that makes him such a bizarre author. Because clearly making a bunch of YouTube shorts wasn't enough. Let's start off with how Fujimoto ate his pet fish. Fujimoto and his girlfriend was raising a Japanese killfish. Yes, I know, hard to believe, the man actually had a girlfriend. Yes, the man has game. But one day the fish died and his girlfriend told him to bury the fish. And so Tatsuki Fujimoto takes the pet fish to the park and tries to bury it. But unfortunately the soil was too solid to be able to dig in and actually bury the fish. So he just left the fish on the ground instead. But upon seeing the army of ants slowly building up around the fish and carrying it away, which he couldn't handle and made him sad, he walked back, got rid of the ants, and the next thing he does is completely out of pocket. He ate the fish. I guess you can say now that he is one with his pet fish. The day after, he woke up with a stomach flu and lied to his girlfriend about the cause. And apparently he felt more guilty about lying to his girlfriend than eating his pet fish. It's a pretty wild story, but it kind of makes me think that Fujimoto is such an impulsive person. And it also might be a reference towards Chainsaw Man Part 1 manga, if you manga readers know what I'm talking about. Being one with the thing you love. Now, whether this is a marketing thing or Fujimoto is just a troll, he pretends to be his fictional 8-year-old little sister on Twitter that's in 3rd grade. He kept this persona up for years instead of having his own Twitter username. And for some reason, she never ages and has been in the 3rd grade forever. He uses it to tweet the most mundane, childish things, usually about eating random food like ice cream or how the people over at Mappa gave her food. But sometimes shouts out Tatsuki Fujimoto's and other mangaka's works. The Twitter goes by the name Koharu Nagayama. Funny enough, Fujimoto, I mean Koharu Nagayama once tweeted that she really enjoyed watching Earwid and the Witch. And the official Ghibli Twitter tweeted, Thank you, Koharu-chan, and please give her regards to her older brother as well for Chainsaw Man. I guess Tatsuki Fujimoto is just living life, but it also explains his tendencies to introduce certain little sister or sister-like characters in his stories, like Yogen no Nayuta, or even in Chainsaw Man. And now here's a weird thing, there's a video posted by Tatsuki Fujimoto on a Japanese video site, Niko Niko Doga, where he was showing off his attempt to levitate. Which, as you can guess, didn't really end up happening. I'll play the clip now. Loki, I wouldn't even be surprised if Fujimoto can actually levitate now. There's also a bunch of weird references in Chainsaw Man like this. If you're cultured or have been on the internet long enough, you've probably seen this somewhere. If you don't, congrats, you're innocent. But Tatsuki Fujimoto's understanding of the internet and the younger generation and audience gives him an advantage along with his studies in Western arts during university. This is why you'll see a lot of references to Western art in his manga panels and just styles and concepts that break the usual conventional manga style. Unlike, say, the creator of Spy Family who doesn't even like his own characters because he had to conform to what the audience wanted or what his publisher wanted for the manga. I'll leave it at that, but if you would like more, I have a whole playlist of Chainsaw Man shorts I made about how Makima came to be as a character or her inspiration, or Tatsuki Fujimoto's other one-shots like Yogen no Nayuta, Goodbye Eri, and hopefully I can talk about Fire Punch soon. Yeah, that's about it. Like and subscribe for anime stuff and weeb stuff and I don't know, that's it. Yeah, like, subscribe, yeah, peace.